Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia. Broadcast for today. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The majesty of Mount Ararat is dazzling. The Khachkar Monument Archiv was dismantled in Girans. The issue of the return of Armenians from Artsakh should return to the political agenda. Karen Mirzoyan. Let's show the true essence of Baku. Sons of Western Armenia, Vahan Kardashian. Let's support the state television of Western Armenia. On 24 August, Armen Nuhisaikian, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, gave a speech. In her speech, she referred to the 27th Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, where the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, spoke about the importance of natural resources. Ms. President emphasized their vital importance for the Armenian people and expressed that it is necessary to develop and strengthen them. Ms. President also reminded about the event related to the summer university to be held on September 8th and the scientific conference dedicated to Goddess Anahit, which will take place on 15 September. The speaker also mentioned the new issue of Western Armenian magazine, which gives readers the opportunity to deeper understand the importance of Armenian heritage and the dangers that threaten our cultural values. The next topic is about the majesty of Mount Ararat. It is dazzling. Mount Ararat, located in Western Armenia, with its white layer on top, causes admiration. The mountain, with a height of 5,147 meters above sea level, is considered the highest mountain of the Armenian highlands. It is really amazing, with the white layer on it. In the summer and winter months, Mount Ararat is the center of attention for both local and foreign mountaineers, and it accompanies travelers with unique views. In the result of the demarcation between the Tavush region of the Republic of Eastern Armenia, the Dima Republic of Baku, the Bright, and the sections have passed to the Azerbaijani side, which are adjacent to the highway in the Giran section of the interstate road leading to Georgia. The new road, initiated by the government, bypasses the Bright and which is sent here to the church of Kirans, then joins the main road. On the part of the road that passed to the Azerbaijan side back in 2020, under the patronage of Armen Pirumyan, the Artif Khachkar monument, signaling the entrance to the village was installed, which had a symbolic meaning for the locals. As a result of border demarcation, the inhabitants of the village had to dismantle the monument. Baku intends to sign not a peace treaty, but some kind of road map document in which the principles of the future peace agreement will be recorded. Former Minister of Foreign Affairs of Artsakh, Karen Mirzoyan, stated this in a conversation with News AM reporter. According to him, the issue of the return of Armenians of Artsakh must be in the discussion of the political agenda. There is a collective unit dedicated to the Armenians of Artsakh who lost their homeland as a result of Azerbaijan's criminal policy. This fact cannot be ignored. However, the issue cannot be resolved without taking into account the rights of Armenians of Artsakh, emphasized the former minister. For the National Council of Western Armenia, the issue of returning native Armenians of Artsakh and Western Armenia to their homeland has never left the political agenda. In November 2024, in Baku, the COP29 conference will take place, dedicated to climate change of the United Nations. The dictatorial and genocidal regime in Baku will make the most of this opportunity to clear his name of accusations of human rights violations and evidence of genocide and war crimes, which were accumulated as a result of the last 44 days of Artsakh and subsequent events. Vahan Kardashian, the founder of the first Armenian lobby in the United States of America. It is possible to achieve independence by force, but it is impossible to preserve it. These were the words of Vahan Kardashian. Smart leadership, skillful diplomacy, economic independence and power are necessary to maintain political independence. Vahan Kardashian consistently promoted the idea of Armenian independence in the United States of America. He was engaged in lobbying the U.S. government for the creation of independent Armenian state. Kardashian was born in Kayseria in 1883, then moved to the United States and married an American woman. He was admitted to Yale Law University where he started practicing public speaking. After graduating from university, he got a job at the Ottoman Empire Embassy in Washington, but soon learned that his mother and sister were killed during the genocide committed against Armenians. Kardashian used his position to secretly warn others about the extermination of Armenians, but 
After learning about it, the Turkish ambassador dismissed him. Kardashian organized the American Committee for Armenian Independence and lobbied the U.S. government to support Armenian independence. He called a group of well-known and respected Americans who became members of the organization's leadership, contributing to raising the issue in the highest circles of the U.S. government. However, until the end of his life, Kardashian continued to struggle for the independence of his native country. Let's support the state television company Western Armenia. Dear compatriots, Western Armenia Television does not engage in self-promotion, but represents Western Armenia and its residents, our occupied homeland. Western Armenia and its residents need impartial media and raising of their own problems. In this difficult and long-lasting struggle, we need the help of every Armenian. To support the television of Western Armenia means to support patriotism and the restoration of the national identity of exiled Armenians. This was all for today. Goodbye.